WNBA action kicks in full force tonight. Five games on the card. We're going to take a look at the Connecticut Sun against the Indiana Fever tonight. I'll give you my analysis and selection on that game. But first, let me tell you how you can save $100, nearly $100, with this Wager Talk current special promotion. If you buy a two-week all-access package, you get an additional week absolutely free. You'll receive every college football play, college football week one, full force this Saturday. It actually starts tomorrow, Thursday. You'll get all my college football plays, NFL plays, every one I release right through September the 18th. You'll also receive WNBA action and CFL action, plus any 5% blue chips, all as part of this all-access special. Three weeks of all sports action for under $10 a day. You can get yours now by going to my homepage at wagertalk.com. Let's get to today's play, the Connecticut Sun at the Indiana Fever. Take a look at the season series thus far. They played three times. Connecticut is 3-0, and straight up 2-1 and against the spread versus Indiana this season. The 2-0 and comes as, with the Sun at home this season. They beat Indiana by 17-21 and in their place, went to Indiana, won the game 88-84, but did not cover. They were five-and-a-half-point favorites in that game. The final score totals landed on 161. 163, and the game at Indiana hit 172. However, these teams haven't played since June 10th. That's a two and a half month span between then and now. Some things have changed. And let's look at the current Fever team in this matchup. Indiana's level of competitiveness is very different right now. They're 12 and 5 against the spread in their last 17 games. And if you break that down even further, just to show how positive their ascent has been. They're 5-1 and one straight up and against the spread in their last six home games where they are tonight. And included in that are straight up wins over the New York Liberty, number one team in the league, Minnesota Lynx, number three team in the league, and two against the Phoenix Mercury, the number six team in the league. So four playoff teams, they've beaten them all straight up here in this recent stretch at home. Connecticut 8-2 and two as a road favorite this season, but only 5-5 five and five against the spread. And since the Olympic break ended, the res resumption of play here in the WNBA, they're only 1-3 against the spread in those four games. The Connecticut you know, defense is probably the biggest advantage for them here. The defensive disparity between these two teams is immense. Connecticut ranks number two in defensive rating in the league. Indiana still near the bottom at number 11. Um. But their offense just remains subpar, even with the recent acquisition of Marina Mabry. It's still a work in process. The Sun really offensively thrives off of points off turnovers. They have the number one ranked team in the league in percentage of points scored off of turnovers. So if you hang on to the basketball, um, in some regards, you can keep them a little bit quiet on the scoreboard. In the end, I think, you know, Caitlin Clark has now seen the tough defense of her counterpart tonight, Connecticut point guard Dijanae Carrington, three times. On top of that, she's seen defenses hound her for 30 games this season, and she's handling it almost routinely at this point in time. Their backcourt, Caitlin Clark, Kelsey Mitchell, plus the interior play of Aaliyah Boston. You know, you could argue that's one of the league's best offensive trios this team has scored 80-plus points in 15 of their last 17 games. However, it's hard to get there with a side play just because their three-point defense is so bad. It leaves the door wide open for Mabry and Ty Harris to have big nights for Connecticut. Um, Connecticut, for what it's worth, they've averaged 89.7 points per game. That's their highest against any team in the league. That's what they've done against Indiana so far this year, 92, 88, and 89. And Indiana potentially could be missing Katie Lou Samuelson from the starting lineup tonight, but that just means Lexi Hull gets those minutes, and she's a 41.3% three-point shooter. I think this game is going to get over. All angles point towards this thing getting to 165 or better, so that's the way we're going to play it. We're going to play this game up and over the total of 163.5 on the way out. Let me just say hit the like button if you like the content that you're seeing in these videos. Drop us a comment, your opinion on this game or any other game that's taking place here tonight in the WNBA. And, of course, hit the subscribe button like 166,000 people already have. Until next time, Rob Vino saying so long and good luck with all your plays.